Hello, hello, and welcome back once again to Sapienza, and today we are going to take care of the What's Your Poison challenge. Now for this you will need to bring some lethal poison. Uh, I, I can't remember if there is any actually on this map, so I've brought some with me. And right off the bat, from the very start, what we're going to do is make our way to the morgue. Just like we do in most of these videos, so we're going to head straight down the main street all the way down to the beach area and we're going to basically knock out a scientist and retrieve the virus killing dongle. And it just makes taking out the virus much less of a chore. So we make our way all the way down to the bottom of the hill, up the stairs to the church and into the morgue and what we're going to do is close the doors behind us we're just waiting for this guy to turn around so that we can get behind him because getting behind him where he's standing there can be tricky it can be done but it can also be tricky hey Give yourself a pat on the back. You carry yourself well, sir. I do that. I do that indeed. So when this guy finally decides to move, we can get him behind him and knock him out. Here he goes, finally. So, knock you unconscious, you unhelpful git. We're going to grab his key. We're going to unlock the door that's behind us and we're going to drag his body into the freezer come on body you need to cool down mate You're too much of a hot head so once he's safely stashed in the freezer we're going to get on our gurney here and we're going to wait for the scientist to arrive and by the magic of editing here she comes now so we're going to wait for her to dismiss the guard Leave me, Bernard. <clears throat> I, uh, I want to be alone. Ma'am. Oh, okay. And when that door okay. closes, you still look stressed we are going to jack in the box. <laughs> we are going to knock her out. We're going to grab so the virus killing dongle. We are also going to grab the key card she drops. We build a weapon that and we are going to hide her in the freezer along with the mortician. That's the dongle. That's the Entering key card. Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. And that's the freezer. So now we're free to make our way up to the uh, villa slash mansion, which is right back at the start of the map here. Basically, we're going to go in via the ICA safe house, which is where I also happen to have my fiber wire stashed up. And we're going to use that to take out Francesca, just because it it makes again makes things slightly easier. Uh, we could throttle her or shoot her in the back, but there is a guard in the room, so we want to act as quickly and as quietly as possible. So now we're in the ICA safe house. We're going to retrieve the fireball wire, and we're going to make our way up to Rocco's apartment. And we are now going to get the waiter's outfit from here. And make our way down back onto the roof. We're going to scoot along the ledge into the villa pantry. Scoot, 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 scoot. In through the window. Through the pantry. Through the kitchen. We'll be back to speak to you in a moment and down the side of the villa to the observatory you notice that once I find a pretty safe route I tend to stick to it for all of these challenges we are going to lockpick the observatory door and make our way inside we are going to knock out this guard on the other side of this door here when he has his back to us so just use instinct and when he turns around we can then take him out and we're going to take his outfit as well. We're going to need that to take out Francesca. But we will also need this waiter's outfit again later on. 
So the guard has now turned his back to us, so we're going to make our way out into the corridor, walk up behind him, knock him unconscious, grab his gun, grab his body, we're going to drag him into Francesca's room and hide him in the crate in here. We're going to take his outfit and we're going to make our way up to the top of the observatory tower and out onto the roof. So straight up the stairs, all the way up here and just outside the door on our left we will find a drain pipe so we'll scoot up the drain pipe and dart across the roof down onto this little balcony area and into Francesca's office. So once in here we're going to select our fibre wire and by again the powers of editing Francesca arrives and is hurriedly making her way through her routine. Now, so what we're waiting for is her to approach the desk and her bodyguard will move away and have his back to us for a, a, about 20 seconds or so. It's long enough for us to use the fibre wire and throttle Francesca and get her body stashed up. Just like this. So as she approaches the desk, the guard will move away okay. and we will then strangle Francesca, drag her straight into this crate over here Target and down. walk out the door Next like nothing up, happened. Silvio Caruso. So that's Francesca out the way. We're now going to make our way down into the basement and into the bio lab. We're going to take out the virus. So back across the roof, back down onto the landing and all the way down the stairs, down into the basement. Don't get stuck on the wall like that. Makes you look silly. It's very unprofessional. Makes you look drunk. So we're going to use the key card we collected to exit eg uh, entrance into the secret bio lab. We're going to go down the stairs, hang a right at the bottom. Ethos Field Lab, you made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. And when this guard, patro who's patrolling up and down basically, when he turns around and has his back to us, we're going to sneak up behind him, knock him out. We're going to take his outfit and his gun and we're going to hide his body in the nearby crate. Just like this. I don't care if you have a family. I have a job to do. And I'm paid very well to do it. So with his gun collected, his body unconsciously dumped and unceremoniously dumped into a crate there. His uniform acquired. We are going to run to the front of the ledge here, scoot ourselves down this drain pipe we are going to proceed onto the roof of the mobile unit opposite us where we will find the laptop to insert our dongle. Now be aware that if the um, scientist is in the position he's in now you can go right ahead but he does turn 90 degrees to his right Virus destroyed. and One that target remains. means that he will be able to see you play with the dongle. So, with the virus now destroyed, we're going to make our way back upstairs. And I'm not going to go up via the drain pipe just in case, because guards will be running around in a panic down there. So we're going to go the long way, in the safe way. And we're going to make our way back up into the villa. And we are going to retrieve the waiter's outfit from Francesca's room. So just back up the stairs and across the corridor, straight into Francesca's room. We're going to grab the waiter's outfit again. We're going to drop the shotgun because that kind of stands out a little bit. And we're going to make our way back through the observatory, Ooh. being aware of Caruso and his bodyguards at all times. So that you don't just burst into a room full of enforcers like I just did. 
I, I don't know how I managed to get away with that, but I did. So we're going to make our way to the kitchen chef and speak to the chef. The kitchen. Sorry, I'm late. You're damn right you are. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you can finish this tomato sauce. Maybe you can do it right. I seem to be chased. When you're done, bring the dinner. Sure thing, boss. I'll give it some love. So after that mini conversation, we're going to approach this big pot on the stove and we're going to stir the soup. Although I believe it's some sort of pasta bolognese thing. We are then going to poison the pasta bolognese slash soup. Then we're going to exit the kitchen and just on outside the kitchen door we will find a bell. We're going to ring that bell and we're now going to find ourselves somewhere to hide and view all this. Now I did have a nice little spot picked out but that did kind of count on me taking out the camera system at some point which I failed to do. So I'm going to have to find a new little hidey spot. But what essentially is going to happen is Silvio Caruso is going to come and sit down. The chef will bring him his meal. He will sample it. He will berate the chef for doing such a poor job and then he will drop down dead and if I'm quick enough we'll be able to see some of that so as you can see Caruso has just arrived at the outdoors Alicante Alfresco dining I believe it is Alicante is a city I believe or a place in Spain so we're just waiting now for the chef to arrive and when he does, they're going to have a, a mini conversation of their own over there. Essentially, Caruso saying that the chef is a uh, two-bit and useless and all the rest of it. So let's hear what they have to say. Oh, that's a shame. You can't actually hear what Caruso's saying. But what he's saying is basically, you're rubbish. Boo. You should go back to making cheese on toast. So when he is finished belittling the chef, he will go to stand up as he is now, and he will drop down dead and I managed to miss it. Huh? So there you go, that's the what's your poison challenge. All that's left for you to do now is exit the mission. Now head towards an exit. So I'm gonna go right out the front door as soon as I've got all my tactical gear on. I'm gonna avoid that camera just to my left there. We're gonna go out the main doors and hang a quick right hmm. through the main gates here where we will find our Volkswagen Beetle it's just missing the 53 on the bonnet and there you go, that's the Watch Your Poison Challenge I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video